Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime video. In this video, we'll just be giving you guys a free Blender Energy download that's included in the description of this video and showing you guys an overview of how we created it and how to customize it. So let's get started. You want to open up the Bloom file that uh, we've got in the description there after you've downloaded it. And now you can see we're in our blend file. So this plane right here is a procedural noise that composites in with our energy lines in the compositor. So uh, let's just set this to render view so we can uh, see the noise. Now if we go into the node editor and pull this window in a little bit, use the mouse button to pan around, you can see we just created a uh, node setup of procedural noises. So we've got the uh, generated output of the texture coordinate node and the input of the noise texture node. And we've just mixed this noise texture with the regular generated coordinates to make coordinates for the one noise texture to be a little bit more distorted like you see here. And we've just animated the scaling of the one noise texture node so that it gradually gets bigger over time. And that just gives it some nice organic movement to our energy. So now that we are done doing an overview of the fractal energy that composites in with the energy lines, let's take a look at the energy lines. Just go into solid view and type Z to go into bar view. You can see we've got uh, a lot of energy lines here for you to choose from. And if we rewind to the beginning, you can see you play this, that the energy lines are animated. Now, uh, for some of these lines, we used Bezier circles, and for others, we just use a plane. We find that a plane works best. So basically, we just added a plane and sized it really small on the x axis and subdivided it 30 times over, and then added a displacement modifier. So if you right click on this, you can see we've named it energy double 2. So if we go into the modifier section, you can see there's a displacement modifier applied to it, and it's in the x direction. That that just displaces it from side to side. And if we go into the uh, texture settings and select our displace texture here, you can see that it's also animated, and that's what helps to give it the organic energy line movement there. So uh, now that we've got that explanation over with. Let's uh, render this, go into the compositor, and then see how our, our node setup works. So, first we want to make sure that this is on a low resolution. Otherwise it would make our screen recording go a little choppy. And uh, now, F12 to render this. So now that this is finished rendering, you can see we've got some nice cool energy effects here. And now, let's go into the compositor to edit the look of this energy. So, go into compositing view. And uh, let's explain this node setup here a little bit. So, uh, this is the render layers node for our energy lines. And you can see it outputs into a, this add node here. And what's at the bottom of this add node is basically the energy adding in to our energy lines. So we scroll up to the view here and pay attention to this render layers node here. You can see it hooks up to this multiply node. And that would blur up the energy lines using this node here and just multiplied it by our procedural noise to just give it kind of a mask. 
And the luminance key is to make sure that the bright parts stay bright and noticeable. And then we added in this uh, color node here. It keeps our uh, fractal energy blue. So if we make this orange, it should help it give it a little bit less of a blue tint. But we'll also need to adjust an RGB curves node here so that we can also change the energy lines. Because using this dodge node, our energy kind of multiplies by the, uh, the color and glow of our original glow lines, which are still set to a blue color, which uses this RGB curves node here. So if we were to lower the red levels, heighten the red levels, and uh, lower the blue levels, then we should get a nice orangish reddish color. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Now, if you wanted to turn down the glow, you can also pull down the glow values over here. So that the glow is a little bit less powerful. And we can lower these two glare notes here to six. And the mouse button pan around. And now you can see we have a nice glow effect. So, if we uh, go back into default view, you can see that uh, our effect is looking pretty good. So we've made some nice orange energy that isn't too punchy. And it has some nice organic movement. So uh, let's go back into 3D view. And go into the material section. And the material for our energy lines is just a plain emission material with a strength of 1. Okay, so that's basically how the energy works. We have a procedural noise plane that is on layer 7 here. And then we have our energy on the first layer. And they're each set to the render layers. So render layer right here. The first layer is the energy. And the seventh layer is the procedural noise overlay. Which is then composited in the compositor to result in this. So uh, we hope you have fun with the energy blend file linked to in the description of this video. And we'll be including a whole set of Blender energy files called Hyperwave soon here on our channel. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, if you found this helpful, you can leave a like below, comment, and subscribe. And we're pretty much done with this video. So thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe for more tutorials from Partners in Coordinated Rendering of Ideas, Motion, and Effects.